Hi everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and I'm going to show you how to create your own actions in Photoshop. Now actions are pretty cool if you notice that you're doing the same steps over and over in all of your photos. If you want to streamline that process so you just have to click one button instead of doing those steps over and over every time you open up a photo, creating your own actions is the way to go. And I'm going to show you how to do that. <clears throat> You're going to go up to the top of your screen and you're going to click window, go down to where it says actions and you're going to select actions. From here, you're going to have a menu that pops out and at the top, you're going to see it says history actions. So you want to make sure that actions tab is selected. But if you keep moving farther over to the right, you're going to see uh, like three or four horizontal lines. Click on that and we're going to create a new set. Okay. You're going to name your set whatever you want. So you could call it set one, you could call it um, your action, uh, whatever you want to call your action, you can put the name for that set there. Then click OK. Now what we're going to do is create an action. So I'm going to go back to that um, horizontal line and now I'm going to create new action. And I'm going to call this one just same steps because they're the same steps that you use over and over and over. And then I'm going to hit record. Okay. Now for this action here, let's say that one thing you always do is add contrast to your pictures. So I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to make an adjustment layer and I'm going to choose contrast because we're pretending like contrast is something you always do. So we're going to just slide up that contrast slider just like this maybe you add a little brightness so we'll add a little brightness to the photo there too okay let's say something else you do is um you add a little bit more saturation to all your photos so we're going to go back and we're going to choose the saturation layer we're going to click on that and we're going to increase the saturation just a little bit okay now let's also pretend that an all your photos, you use a, let's see, what else could we use here? Vibrance. So let's go up to Vibrance and we're just going to increase the Vibrance a little bit just like that. Okay. So if you notice yourself, and it doesn't have to be these three things, but if there's some steps to your editing process that you just see yourself doing over and over and over again, recording an action is a great way to have all of those steps together so you just have to push one button every time you're doing your editing okay from here we're still recording so i want to make sure that i stop that so you see at the bottom of the screen the red dot is lit right now that means we're recording now i'm just going to hit stop and that stops my action okay so if i take all those steps off and go back to my background layer if the next time you pull up a photo, you go to your action set, your action, our same steps, we're going to click that action right there, then all you have to do is hit play. And then everything that you have just created, everything that you do runs right there instead of having to go back and create a new adjustment layer every time. It makes it very simple. Hope you learned a little something. If you did, I'd love if you would subscribe to the channel. I'm adding more video tutorials the whole month of March, so you'll see a new one pop up each day in March, so make sure you check that out. And you can check out some of the, the past ones too. Um, I added a link at the bottom with some more cool Photoshop tutorials and photography tips, so if you want to check that out, that's down there too. Thanks for watching.